Hot than you ask. Now, I am here to do the little magic and puppet shows because I do all the magic and puppet shows here at Gulliver's. I hope you're having a good day so far, and I'll show you just a little bit of magic. Now, I do have here this very confusing contraption. It is a pom pom stick. It does pom pom things. Not quite sure what it does. Now, as you see, we have a big long string between the blue and the yellow pom poms just over here, and we have a short string that is between the red and the white pom poms. It's dead easy. All you do is you go. Woo -doo 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 like this, and you change which side is the long side, you see? So that now this side here is the long side. Now it's dead easy, you can change it back just as easy as you did before, or indeed you can have as many long strings and short strings as you want. Now watch, because what happens is if you pull the yellow pom-pom, the white pom-pom goes up, the blue pom-pom goes down. If you pull the red pom-pom up, the blue pom-pom goes up, the white pom-pom goes down, and the pattern gets really confusing, and we all get really, really bored and wish we'd gone on roller coasters instead. But what we can do is we can, in fact, have two long strings. Because quite how the whole thing works, I don't really know. Because lots of people think they're connected in the middle. All I know is as long as you have one long string and you have one short string, you just keep connecting them forever, okay, like this. And it's always got one long string and one short string, at least until it has no long strings, and it's all very, very confusing malarkey device like this. Now, I can tell from the looks of absolute non-bafflement on all of your faces that you're all a very clever group of people. So I will give you the hardest to figure out magic trick there's ever been. That's right. It's a little little puzzle, little challenge for you. I'm, I'm not even sure anyone's going to figure it out. Now, if you see, we have our little hat covers. We have our black hat cover here. Inside there is a black rabbit. Inside this white hat cover here is a white rabbit. The trick is this. You cover the rabbits over and you make them change places. You go... Like that. So that underneath the black hat now is the white rabbit, and underneath the white hat now is the black rabbit, but it's even harder to make them change places back. <laughs> and look at this, you see, look, they've returned back to their original hats, and nobody has a clue how it's this. Nobody seems really impressed by this. I just made rabbits teleport from hat to hat, and then back again. What, did you want, do you want to see it go? Yeah. Right, okay, well I'll cover them back over, and I'll let you see it go this time. And what I'll do is I'll show you the quality of the props we have at Gulliver's World. This hat design is not only on the front, it's also on the back, as you see, like this. And then you go... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, they've changed... What? What? What do you... You think I'm just turning the rabbits around? That is a slanderous accusation, and they'll be hearing from my lawyers. But the thing is, I have to prove it's not true. So I cover them back over, right? And like I said before, it's harder to make them go back again, right? And hopefully some of you are cottoning on that I'm not really as rubbish as I'm pretending. I go like this. And I said, I'll move them even further apart from each other. Look at that, right? You ready? Here it goes. Prepare to be a mate. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall off your chairs in astonishment. That's right. Now, do any of you still think I'm turning the rabbits around? Yeah, some of you do. Well, it's all right, because I will turn the rabbits around without the casing on. There you go. What, you want it the other way? Right, we'll turn it the other way. You walked into that, didn't you? What, you, you want to see... No, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. What, you want to see that, do you? Whoa! Because it's magic, isn't it? See? Like this. Now, I shall finish the magic portion of my little show today with that perennial classic. You can't escape it. It's my Lincoln rings, you see? Like this. Now, these, ladies and gentlemen, are Pat Butcher's earrings. Some of you will be old enough to get that. <laughs> now, if I have... You there, my leapfrogging friend. Can you come up here a second? No? Anybody? Anybody else fancy? Jean jacket, come on. There we go. Now... Got these big old hoops like this, you see. Have a check. And just check it's nice and solid and it's free of holes, gaps, mechanisms, secret buttons, trapdoors, invisible thread, magnets, or indeed laser beams. What, you think there's laser beams? Okay, don't think there's laser beams. Now, are there any holes in it is the important thing. I'm afraid you failed the test. Because there is one dirty great big hole right in the centre. Like this. Now, all we do is we take them like this. Like that. And we show the nice and solid on the bottom and on the top and on the side. That does, of course, stand to reason the nice and solid on the inside as well. Like this. You see, it's on, isn't it? Now, it is reason... Thank you very much. Now, you can see 
that you just hit them together as easy as pie. Now, just check that they are indeed connected for me. Use all your strengthitudinal skill and all these sorts of things and just check. There you go, because if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Now, may I have them back? We take them like this. And we go one, we go two, we go three. We connect all of them together onto a big long chain, like that. Thank you very much. It is a long chain, isn't it? Now, if you see as well, there's one to the left, there's one to the right. So it's going to go through that spot right there in the centre, right? Everybody watch the bit in the centre. Oh like that. Connects it together. Now, you can, of course, take them apart like this. And you want to take them apart one at a time. Like that. Which leaves these two looking and sounding connected. But all you actually have to do is just blow on them. And they come right apart. Thank you very much, everyone. Give a round of applause. Thank you. Good. There we are now. What I'm going to do now, chums, is if you see, just to the right of me here, left from my perspective, is the Travelling Puppet Theatre. Now, this is one of the smallest little theatres in the entire world that many of you will see, and it is where I keep all of my puppets. Now, shall I go and wake them up? Yeah! I said, shall I go and wake the puppets up? Yeah! Lovely! I will go and wake the puppets up. We'll, uh, we'll go wake them up. Now, just, just wait, and let me tell you, if you see Mortimer Monkey, if you see him, just, uh, you know, give him a little... And so I'll uh, just get the curtains open. <laughs>